people think when you have a spinal cord injury and you become paralyzed, they think of two things. You can't walk and you can't feel. Well, that is true in many cases, but there is so much more behind the scenes with the spinal cord injury, and that's what this series of videos is about, to try to help familiarize you with that. Um, one of the things that we have to deal with is muscle atrophy. When you do not use your muscles, you lose those muscles. So many times spasms and things like that help do um, give us some, keep some of our muscle because it is moving the muscles even though we're not voluntarily moving our muscles and I'll talk about spasms in another series, um, another video in this series, but today I want to talk about muscle atrophy. Um, most of us do not like muscle atrophy. Muscle atrophy is what starts changing the shape of your body. Muscle atrophy is what starts giving you that paralyzed look. Um, for example, I'm sitting here right now and I look down and I see my leg is very wide but if you come to this side, my leg is very narrow. And we call this the pancake thigh. It's because there's no muscles in there to give that leg that nice rounded look that we're used to. Our skeletal system looks like this. We have bone and then we have muscle that wraps around those bones. You've all seen that red picture of a human body where you just see all these strings of muscles going everywhere. And then we have fat that goes on top of the muscle. And then skin is the layer over that. Well, when you're not using your muscles, that red tissue and all that strong muscle, it goes away. And there's a lot to that. Muscles do a lot for us. They help us burn calories. They help us um, to blood flows back through that, all kinds of things. So when you use that, it provides some complications for your body and your health when you've lost a great percentage of your muscle mass, besides just the cosmetic looks of muscle. So one of the major complications is the ability then to, be, to get pressure sores. When you are not using your muscles and those muscles atrophy, it takes away a whole level of protection between your skin and that bone. Now, I would love to be able to lose weight. It's a constant journey for me to try to lose weight. I've never um, given up sugar all the way, which is hard for me, so I'm sure I could help myself even more. But having said that, carrying some fat on, my, on me is actually kind of helpful. You can be so thin that it's then nothing but skin on bone, and that is terrible. We have tail bones. That, are, that come out of, of our hips, underneath our hip sockets, and then you have that middle tailbone that's right there. So we have the ischium bones, and then you have the tailbone. And all of that is sitting all the time. We're sitting on those three bones. Those are very easy places to get pressure sores. Laying on our sides, on our hips, you get a hip bone, that's an easy place. The sides of our knees, our ankle bones, um, the heels of our feet sometimes. Just sometimes having your feet on a foot plate, you don't realize to move your feet around, and you can have very red heels where pressure sores are trying to come up on your heels. Um, I hardly ever go on any sort of trip or stay on my backside very long that my husband's not checking me for pressure sores because they can get very serious very quick and they can kill you. And so um, probably everybody with a spinal cord injury, that's the thing they're most scared of is getting a pressure sore. So one thing we do is we sit on cushions. These are very expensive cushions. This cushion costs you between four dollars and $500. And um, they make all sorts of different cushions. My cushion is a, a low-profile Rojo cushion and it sits on air. Um, thankfully, I've never had a real serious pressure sore. Um, I wiggle and move a lot. We're supposed to do pressure reliefs where you lift yourself up. Um, obviously, if you're a higher level, you won't have that strength to do that. So a lot of your power chairs that you see people reclining and tilting backwards, it's because they're, that's their way of doing a pressure relief to get some of that weight off their rear end, tip backwards, and redistribute that weight so that they're not getting pressure so that they can be out and about and not, not get something very life-threatening. So that's one of the hidden things of spinal cord injury that is muscle atrophy and um, we're not playing around. We say, I'm sorry I gotta go lay down for a little while or I've got to get off my backside for a little while or I need to go stretch out somewhere. For us, we know we're trying to prevent pressure sores. So don't give anybody a hard time if they have to cut a visit short or they're not able to come out or something for a while because we've got to take care of that. That can be life and death for us. So I hope you learned something about muscle atrophy and what it means to have pressure sores and why we use cushions. And it's not so it's comfortable. We don't feel it. So <laughs> I'm glad it's comfortable. But it's because we are trying very hard to prevent a pressure sore. Thanks for watching.